Okay, so next we're going to talk about area of parallelograms, rhombi, and kites. Uh, remember, the bases of the parallelogram are either of the pair of parallel sides, and the shortest distance between the bases of the parallelogram is called the height of the parallelogram. Okay, so the bases here are the sides that are parallel, either of them, okay, and then the height is the distance between them. So again, just like in the square and rectangle and the triangle, the height and the base are always the ones that are perpendicular to each other, okay? So the area of a parallelogram is the product of its height and its base. So if I have a parallelogram here, and this is the base, the height would be inside somewhere. So it's just area equals base times height, which is the same formula we use for rectangle, which makes sense because a rectangle actually is a parallelogram, okay? So <coughs> find the area of each parallelogram. Area equals base times height. The base is 8. The height is 12. 8 times 12 is 96 square yards. That was easy enough. Okay, and this one, the base is 11, the height is 7, so base times height would be 11 times 7, so the area is 77 square millimeters. And for this one here, the base is 14, the height is 14, so it's going to be 14 times 14, which is 196 square feet. Okay, so that's easy enough. Um, rhombi and kites, they're a little bit different, but they actually have almost the same formula. Okay, the area of a rhombus is half the product of its diagonals. Product means answer to a multiplication problem. Okay, so the diagonals here would be this, which we'll call D1, and this distance. So the formula is one half times d1 times d2. Okay, so they have different ways of showing this. This is trying to tell you that that's what the diagonals are. So this distance is 10 here. This is 14. So we have one half d1 d2. So we have one half of 14 times 10. So pick either of those numbers to take half of. I'll take half of 14, so that's 7. 7 times 10 is 70 square inches. Okay. And here, if remember the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other, which means they divide each other in half. So this whole distance here is 7 plus 7, which is 14. And this whole distance is 9 plus 9, which is 18. So we have to do area equals d1, d2. One half that, sorry. So one half times fourteen times eighteen. Seven times eighteen is one hundred and twenty six square meters. If you don't if you can't take half of one of these things, you could multiply these two numbers together and then divide them by two. That's the same thing as multiplying one of them by half. Okay? And the area of a kite is the same formula one-half times the product of the diagonals. So it's a little bit weird because normally rhombuses or rhombi and kites don't have anything in common, but they do have the same formula for area, one-half times the length of diagonal. Okay, so again here, this diagonal would be 16, this one is 14, so we have one-half times 14, times 16, half of 14 is 7, 7 times 16 is 112. So we get the area is 112 square meters for that one. And then here it says find the missing dimension, so we're starting with the formula, area is 1 half d1 d2, the area is 50, so we have 50 equals one half times, well, one of these is pi, the other one is x, okay? I don't want this fraction here, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. 50 times 2 is 100, so 
So I have 100 equals 5x. Divide both sides by 5, so the missing dimension is 20 inches. So rhombi and parallelograms and kites are pretty easy. Okay, that's really all there is to that. So you can work on your worksheet for that.